you know. I thought I liked Ed. He's a good dude. All right, <laughs> uh, let me show you this. Uh, you know, this has been the warmest October to date. Wow. So far. I'm not surprised. It's it's been warmish. Yeah, it has. Some might say hottish. I, I know. You know, I, I think what happens is we get out of summer. And then we kind of get into these early fall months. And so when it's in the mid 80s, we're like, OK, this is pretty nice, but it's really above normal. Uh, the normal high temperature this time of the year is in the low 70s. So if you average our temperature, from the, you average all the lows, all the highs together, we're 5.6 degrees above the normal. It's the warmest October to date. We've had high temperatures above normal for 23 of the days so far. Same thing with the lows. And uh, we've had eight days in the 90s this October. We usually see about three or four. Uh, so we've doubled that. We still have seen zero measurable rain at DFW, and that's below normal by 3.63 inches. Only two Octobers on record have had no measurable rain. That was in 1975 and in 1924. Satellite and radar is clear. I'm going to fast forward to next week because guess what? Sunday, sunny and warm. Monday, sunny and warm. Tuesday, a little bit of cloud cover, still on the warm side for this time of the year. But there's a cold front approaching, and that cold front's coming. It'll get here uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, which is Halloween. So what does that mean for trick-or-treating? Well, watch. This is Wednesday. We'll have a scattering of showers and storms Wednesday late afternoon, Wednesday evening, and Wednesday night. Some of those could be strong. I'm not overly impressed with the severe risk here in North Texas. There could be some hail up to the size of quarters or some gusty winds. I think the better chance for severe weather this upcoming event is going to be farther to the north, like Midwest area, even, even farther north in Missouri. That would be the area we would be watching for that. But here in North Texas, some scattered rain, some thunderstorms. This is Thursday morning for Halloween. Still some rain around, still a couple thunderstorms, but look. By the evening, a lot of this rain is southeast of North Texas, meaning there's just a very low chance for rain during trick or treat hours. Uh, so that's gr great news for the kids. Then we have another chance of rain moving in on Friday, more scattered rain and thunderstorms. Uh, that's 7 p.m. So we are actually turning pretty active. Pretty, I when I say active, I don't mean severe active. I just mean unsettled. We're getting rain. Finally, it's taken a long time. So the trick or treat forecast Halloween night, 5 p.m. 7, 9. Very low chance of rain, not zero, but very low. Temperatures actually pretty comfortable in the upper 60s at 7 by 9 o'clock will be at 66. So the rainfall coverage, it actually continues going into next weekend. Look now, now Wednesday and Wednesday night, that's our highest chance for rain, 70 percent. And then it's back to 60 percent Saturday, 40 percent Sunday. So we are finally turning into uh, we are turning the, 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 the pattern into more of a fall like pattern, not only with the cooler temperatures, but rain chances too. tonight. 65 mostly clear skies, dry, cool. You better be quiet, Michelle, with those heels, uh, light winds. I'm trying to focus 86 degrees. She's, she's so funny that she just really quietly walks with her heels as she goes to the desk. You're doing a great job at that, by the way. No distractions. I'm very professional. Uh, 73 Thursday. Oh, by the way, today was the first Mavericks game yes, on KFAA. Yes. The next one, mm -hmm. Monday, 730 oh, yeah. on KFAA. Uh, oh, yeah. A couple more mm -hmm. things of note. We fall back an hour next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Boo. Uh, we vote <laughs> Election Day the following Tuesday. And very highs important. in the 60s. Wow. We did it.